Well, it's a little bit after 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, June the 5th, 2021, out here in Terre Haute, Indiana. And today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I'd normally do. Uh, normally, I'm doing thrift stores, pawn shops, antique stores, uh, flea markets, all that deal finding, used and repurposed stuff. But today, I'm going to be reacting. This is going to be a react video. I'm going to be reacting to my first time in a store that sells brand new things. A Menards. There it is. A Menards. Save more money at Menards. Yeah, get ready for me to get a lot of those advertisements on my YouTube videos once my phone knows that I've been in here. <laughs> Uh, but the first time I saw these uh, driving out west, uh, I, I just looked at the name and the only thing I thought was, Oh, ow, somebody just kicked me in my nards. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. But, okay, so I turned 40 in February. So this is going to be a 40-year-old man that loves uh, working and home improvement, all that kind of stuff. Uh, first time in a Menards. But before I go in there, um, the Menards, <laughs> that name is still funny to me, is sharing the parking lot with a gas station called Casey's, which I understand they're not partnered with, they're just here. Uh, I think this is going to be my first time actually trying a Casey's canned uh, vanilla coffee. So let's uh, start with that. Oh, a little messy. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to say that's pretty good. It's not as sweet as like the Starbucks that comes in the glass bottle or, um, well, it's, it's more comparable with the Monster Java, which I kind of stopped drinking because it got me jacked up. I don't think I'm going to get another one of these. It tastes very strong, very potent. All right. I've only got about one hour before I need to get back to the Wabash Valley Festival and open up my booth for a hopefully productive Saturday. Let's get in there and see what is Menards all about. Okay, so already I'm kind of impressed by the camping section out here. Not bad deals either. Look at this, $60 for this cast iron set comes with the Dutch oven. Um, frying pan and this, what is this called? <laughs> but I like that it actually comes with this handle that is to lift off the lid from the Dutch oven because I bought a Dutch oven used and come to find out finding these by themselves, really hard to do. I found one eventually, but yeah, normally just buying a Dutch oven is going to cost you somewhere between 35, 40 bucks. So to get all three for 60, it's already showing. Yeah, you can find some very good deals in here. Oh, look at this. I've already got one of these. But these cots that you can throw in a, a backpack and then see right here, they have this thing where you can actually pull it up around you after you climb in. Uh, these are getting very popular for good reason. They are. They are nice to have, very nice to have. Uh, this one's going for 20 bucks, and I've got one just about the exact same that I bought for 20 bucks at a uh, flea market, and it had been marked down from 50 down to, to 20. I thought I was getting a good deal. Now I'm seeing them here for 20. So yeah, so far very impressed. Oh, look at that wood saw. It's coming very handy. Oh, this one's got a changeable blade. Oh, and its own sheath. <laughs> this, okay, it's got, in the pool section, there's an inflatable serv serving bar. Serving bar. <laughs> Look at the picture there. It's got kids in the pool right there. And then this cut and paste uh, ice and... Uh, <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> is that egg salad? That potato salad right there? Yeah. <laughs> There's a 
you can drain. <laughs> it's, <laughs> if you don't want to do that, you can just put it on top of a picnic table. And now you're going to have, uh, you know, whatever you've served on the picnic table with a big cushion around it. And everything's down in ice. There's a bigger picture of it right there. <laughs> just, uh, am I the only one that finds that funny? <laughs> uh. I'm now standing in the bougiest part of the store. Look at all this. Building materials. We got a sheet of plywood here for $73. <laughs> I am really glad I finished up those working on those decks before this happened. This is one of these basic, simple pieces of plywood for fifty-two dollars. That's a work time too. So we've got these insets to make a dog door. They've always shocked me on how much they cost. Take a guess before I reveal the price. Now, take, keep in mind, they're not even lockable. They just have a flap. That's right. <laughs> Why do they cost so much? Anytime I see these in a thrift store, I grab them. Because I know, you know, when I go to build sheds and workshops and stuff, I'm eventually going to want them. Uh, thrift stores typically price them around 20 bucks. While brand new, they're up around $90. Do they have any that has the little door that slides down and locks so you can lock these? I don't even see them here. Oh, wait a minute. This one's got one in the middle there. I think you might be able to lock that one. Yeah, I can put you up over $100. I'm sorry, I still can't get over this. What On what planet would two sheets of this plywood be the same price as a used Nintendo Switch Lite? For two crummy pieces of plywood. Well, something different I'm also noticing about this place is it doesn't just sell home improvement stuff. There's also a grocery section. Now, the grocery section looks a lot like uh, Royal King's grocery section. But there's some stuff here I don't think I've ever seen in another grocery store. Oh, look at that. There's a mattress section. I don't think even Home Depot has got a, a mattress section. Appliances, doors, paints and stains, all that. Same kind of thing you might find. But look at this. Over here in the sodas, <laughs> we've got this um, root beer brand and it's called uh, Sprechers? Sprechers. I believe that's called Sprechers. Right? There's a Dr. Sprechers. Uh, caffeinated root beer spreachers. But look, the Dr. Spreachers has got a face mask on. They're taking the, the doctor part of it very literally. And we've all seen enough of the face mask already. Locale root beer. Oh, look at this one. This one's Spreachers. It just got a big purple gorilla on it with this weird looking alien face. Okay. If by some small chance anybody from the Sprechers company is watching this video, um, it's not very expensive to hire much more talented illustrators that can give you a much better label to represent your sodas than this. Just go to um, DeviantArt is a good place to start. Just browse through and uh, you'll find lots of artists that are looking to make a good name for themselves. You pay them you know, a couple hundred bucks, they'll deliver you a... <laughs> A much better illustration than this. This looks like you got some fourth grader to uh, to do that. <laughs> Look at this bee here. Well, I mean, I'm talking about it. It's catching my eye. So it is doing its job there. If their their purpose was to just have something outlandish enough that it just makes you stop and go, huh? Yeah. yeah that. Mission accomplished. On that Sprechers. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop musing over that. Let's move on. Oh man, I want this. <laughs> I want this so bad. This is a pressure canner. With these things, you can you can can meats. With these, a lot of other things that you couldn't can. 
with just a regular immersion canner. It's like a giant pressure cooker. And $90 is not unreasonable for this. This whole section is uh, stocked up nicely with canning supplies. One year ago today, this stuff, you could not find it anywhere. I have been looking for that tool right there for the longest time. I didn't want to have to order it, but hey, look at that. They've got this one for tightening the jar lids, this one for lifting them out of the uh, hot water. There's even a, a canning funnel here. All that for $12. Oop, I'm dropping it. I'm getting too excited. All that for $12. Yeah, this is coming home with me right here. Peach jelly? Okay. That's reasonably priced. Something I'll definitely use. Yeah, I think I'll get this too. Okay, yeah, these two things are coming home with me right here. It's too bad I'm not doing this taste test of the unhealthy snacks anymore because this would be a shoe win right here. Look at this, Dippin' Dots, cookies and cream, and it's like, it has that corn puff feel to it. Uh, so, yeah, so it's an amalgamation of two companies, Oreo and Dippin' Dots, and it's made by Hairs. They're the same ones that made that cheese puff that tasted like uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup. But that was actually good. And it's a, it's a corn puff. Okay, I'm leaving that here. I gotta stop thinking about it. I, I don't eat that kind of stuff anymore. Going on. Okay, we're at the bargain bin movie section right now and ask somebody that is a real connoisseur of DVDs and tries to find stuff that's kind of off the beaten path and a little hidden gems everywhere. Let me give you guys a little recommendation uh, when looking at a wall like this. Okay, so a lot of times you will find something like this. Shark bait, ooh ha ha. Okay, it looks cool. If you look at the, uh, underneath the, the, the title there, it says six killer shark films, six. So it's a pack of six, and then it'll have the titles right here. Never, ever buy the combo packs like this. Never do it, okay? Because these are the bottom, scraping the bottom of the barrel, waste your time movies. This is worse than MST3K Rift movies. It, these, you'll, you'll get, you know, through part of the movies and you'll be like, how can I get the last 30, 45 minutes of my life back? No, don't ever do that. Uh, this right here, Blind Fury, I've actually watched this movie before. And it's a really good one. It's an old one, very old, but it's it's really incredibly entertaining. And you would think like this this uh, this guy that is blind and he was trained on how to use his other senses, like he would be like totally bad A and you know just impress everybody. John Wick, I'm blind. I'm, you know, Book of Eli. But uh, he actually has his bumbling moments that adds to the the, the entertainment of the movie. But he still holds his own never gives up the way he loses his sight to anyway you just have to watch the movie trust me on that but uh yeah you want an off the off the beaten path kind of weird indie not not really indie but off the beaten path mo movie look for the ones that are sold individually individually like this don't ever get those never get the combo packs i i love this oh this is an area rug but the pattern in it is made to look like a piece of wood that dried, like beech wood that dried to the point where the cracks in it start opening up and then sliced. Just imagine having a rustic old cabin and um, you've got a, a, a brown leather uh, couch just big enough for two people. And this is wedged up underneath the couch so that your feet is resting on it while you're leaning against the couch looking at a little wood stove or an old CRT TV just enjoying your time off of work it just that just screams relax doesn't it I love that <laughs> oh okay I, I'm really glad that home decor is starting to go this direction where people are not so enamored with white and smooth and uh, you know polished brass and and all that we're getting back to the the rustic the old-fashioned the the practical and the beautiful 
Yeah, even the light fixtures and light bulbs are starting to have that old-fashioned stained glass, wrought iron, faux look with the heating elements. And I'm sure they're actually uh, LED, just made to look like they're heating elements. Look at that. Here's one with uh, mason jars. But yeah, we're getting back to that old-fashioned look. And I love it. I did not know Buck was still making knives. I actually owned this knife at one point. That was one of the first uh, fold-up block blades I ever owned as a kid. It was this exact knife. It's now going for $50. I kept throwing it into trees and stuff, though. I ended up breaking the tip off of it. I sharpened it up so that there was a tip there again, but it was, still wasn't quite the same. I still got it somewhere. It's probably in my storage building. Buck made a good knife, though. The metal was very hard. That's why it broke off so easy. All right, well, it's after two, and it's about time for me to get over to the cash register and check out, but I've decided I am, in fact, going to get this. I, I like the plastic uh, cushiony grip. It's made by Gerber, which I've got their pocket knives before, and I know they make some good stuff. And I've had these in the back of my truck before, and they've come in handy many times. Uh, and then I don't have one back there right now because I took them and put them with my other woodworking tools back at the studio. So I do need one of these for the back of my truck. It's always good, you know. It's one of those I'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it kind of things. Why not? It's got its own case too, so let's do it. Okay, so final thoughts after everything that I bought here. Uh, it all came up to a little bit over $50. Was it $50, $53 with tax? I also got some of this kind granola mix because I have an excess of almond milk in my refrigerator now, and so I can eat it like a cereal. And a couple of the Coleman Lantern uh, mantles because to me, these are like toilet paper. They never go bad, and you know that you will eventually use them, so why not buy a few extra? Uh, and then we've got the canning tools, the preserves book, the wood saw, all of that together. I'm going to say this place is pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, I don't like that they've bought into the whole hike up the price of your wood thing, but that's everybody. So that's not really their fault. Uh, I'm sure they're probably paying more to put it in stock. That's why the price has gone up. I'm really hoping this is a temporary thing. People will... It, it, it might go back down. Hopefully it will go back down. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, this store, I would give it somewhere around an 8.5 for just being very practical, well laid out, uh, very thoughtful in the items that they stock and keep stock keep stocked and their practicality and the pricing and reasonable pricing yeah um two thumbs up menards even though it has that funny weird name very good store so make sure to give me that good old thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't already turn on notifications i will talk to you down to in the comments and as always i look forward to seeing you in the next one